Many times we have to work with slides that have a lot of bulleted text on a slide and we have to show all of it on one slide. There could be many reasons why we have to show so much text on one slide. It could be a client requirement which takes it out of your hands. Another reason could be that the presentation is for static reporting or documentation purpose. In other words, there may be no one presenting the slides in person. The recipient is expected to view the slides in their own time. Whatever the reason could be, I'm not going to tell you that you shouldn't show so much text on one slide because it goes against the principles of graphic design or storytelling. In an ideal world, of course we all would like our slides to be visual with as less text as possible, but sometimes we just have to play with the cards that we have been dealt. Let's take this slide as an example. As you would have noticed, it looks plain and simple. Our job is to visualize it, keeping the content same. We are working with two constraints. Number one, we have to use the text as is. So text can be changed just to suit our layout. Number two, we have to fit all the text on one slide. So we can split the text onto multiple slides. So what all things can we do with our text? I have split this into three parts. So first, Let's look at lines. What all things can we do with simple lines? So this is our text that we are trying to visualize. If we just add a few lines below these titles or this bold text above each of these paragraphs, this is how it would look. With just a simple addition, our text already looks easier to read and follow. We can of course change the color of our lines. We can then change the ends of our lines from circle to a diamond we can make them dashed we can also add a few rectangular shapes on the left hand side as an entry point we can keep the color same or different depending on your preference we can add simple lines instead of the shapes on the previous slides if you want to keep it simple and clean then let's look at different layouts that we can try right now all our text is just one below other we can turn that into different layouts so like instead of just one column we can split that into two columns or we can also have two columns that are slightly asymmetrical we can even split our text into five columns since we have five bullet points or five sections so let's look at them one by one this is our original text that i took from the previous slide we can split this into two columns like so way easier to read versus having everything one below other because it breaks our attention and gives our eyes a little rest to read so much text. We can even use this off center layout. These arrows guide us for the navigation. So we want them to read this first, followed by this, then this, this, and this. So this is one option. We can split this into five columns like so. And these arrows basically tell us how to follow this slide. Then a few extra layouts. So these are again, uh, optional there are so many ways we can go about doing these kind of slides but this is just to give you an example of what's possible then if you are too courageous you can even go with something like this this is a bit uh, difficult to follow but if it's used for reference purpose i think it should be okay then let's look at a couple of slides with graphical elements incorporated on to our slides like icons so the first example is we can number our bullet points like so if there is a continuity meaning if our bulleted text needs to go in a certain order then we can always number them we can also add icons if each of these points that we see in bold can be abstracted in an icon format this might be a bit difficult to implement because if your titles are not a simple ideas that can be abstracted in a single icon if they convey multiple things then it would be difficult to distill them into a single icon like so if that's the case then you can go with something like this but if you can abstract your titles into a single picture icon is a great way to visualize your slides now we looked at one kind of visualization where we have a title followed by text and so on five more times let's say we only had one title and all of these were bullet points 
we can still use some of these layouts that I just showed you with a few changes. So this is our new text, let's say. Now I'll show you how we can use some of the earlier layouts and customize them for this scenario. So the very first one, we had this line under the title. Now in the absence of the title, we can move these lines below the text like so. The one where we had these rectangular shapes here, we can now move them like so. Then for this slide, I just removed the title and we can use this as is. I think it looks fine. We can maybe reduce this upper part of this line. Then the two column layout can again remain the same. This one also works just fine. We just need to remove the titles. Then for the five column layout, we have a couple of options. This one and this one. You can take your pick. With the one with the numbers can again remain the same. I have just moved these numbers below a bit. They were slightly above next to the title. Since we have removed the title, they need to be moved down like so. The one with the icon will need some changes. What I've done here is I have moved all these icons below and then I have added a little shadow to our lines. So this looks a bit 3D. So that's pretty much it. I just wanted to show you how easy it is to turn your plain and simple slides into a visual slide with a few additions like lines and icons and shapes. So I hope you found this useful. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe for future videos and I will see you next time.